Um, I've been looking at this um fight. This is the last fight. Rosario. But he he gonna have um. I look at you know one thing I look at when it comes to Jamel Char- Jamel and them Jamel Charlos. One thing with this fight right here, J Rock always in shape, but J J Rock is a better boxer than Jamel. But one thing, one thing would Jamel have that's going to cause this guy a lot of problems? I'm talking about everybody who fight Jamel and Jamal. Is one thing they're gonna bring is intensity, and 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 his feet his feet is very Jamel had very fast feet, very quick reflexes. Not not like not like a lot of boxing reflexes, but very quick reflexes reaction. He you you may just be sitting there. You always he's very explosive. He's very explosive, and you see the way J Rock just sitting around. I'm talking about. I'm talking about any moment he can he, he can explode to, and with not the same combinations, they throw a lot of different combinations, and you're gonna be you're gonna have to be ready to pick each one of those combinations off because one one shot from the Charlos can have you on your ass. That's why. I'm picking Jam- I'm picking Jamel. I'm picking Jamel to really explode on this on this kid. This kid this kid gonna this 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 kid gonna be this kid gonna be fighting for his see look 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 how this fight is. That's why I'm showing you this fight. You see how he can sit back and you you see how he can just sit back and box like this? And this th- all of this is not gonna be look at all this time. This is a lot of time. Just look, look at this time. That's why I'm showing y'all this. Look at this time. When you fight against the Charlos, you're not going to have that time. You're not going to have that time. You're going to be you're going to be using defense. You're going to be using defense. You're going to be using defense because you not you gonna be using defense? I'm talking about your defense. You you just not gonna have this much time to sit back and just sit back and throw your shots and just pick them off like that. Because at any moment he can explode. Cause he was he was losing. He was getting his ass kicked in his last fight. And and when you seen the guy, the guy kind of didn't even know what happened. He was playing around. The guy was so comfortable. He was playing around sometimes. And and when he explodes, when he explodes, you don't see it coming. It caught the guy off guard. So you got you got you gotta always be bringing it to you. You got you got I believe the best way to to beat um Jamel is not the box. It's just to just to go at him and just see can you wipe his ass out of there. Because if you hang around, you hang around, and when he really is, when he really on his shit, like this fight, he really gonna be on his shit because he felt like he could lose at any moment. He wouldn't let the other guy out that fight. That that, that guy was gonna have to kick his ass. I'm talking about get his ass out of there, or he was going. The us the only way you're gonna really beat him, beat him if you beat his ass up <clears throat> and get him out of there. I don't believe you just can just box him. The whole fight, just just sit back and box him, unless you strong enough to hurt him. And this guy, as hard as he hit, he just ain't gonna just be hitting hitting to Charlo like he, he Charlo way tougher than he way he way tougher than this guy right here. He's way tougher than J Rock. He gonna take a lot more shots than J Rock, and he gonna come right back at you. I don't know if this guy Rosario is going to be able to take the Charlo. I don't think he's going to be able to take out the Charlo, man. 
I just don't see it happening. The other Charlo have a other the other guy have a other he have a chance to beat the other Charlo. Because I don't like how the the big Jamal I don't like how Jamal I don't like I, I don't like it. I, I just he may beat that fight, but it's but I, I I he may beat that fight. I gotta look at that guy. But that guy gotta be careful too. Cause today he's very explosive. But I'm picking both at first I picked the other other Jamal other, other, um, Jam- um, Jamel, I mean Jamal to lose, but I think he might be. They are very motivated, man. I've been watching some of the videos. They are very motivated. This other guy going to, he going to, he going to, he going to take some. He going to have to bring more than what he brought against Triple G. I think he going to have to be in way better shape and he's going to have to fight. And he's not going to be able to get hit the way he got hit with Triple G. You can't get hit like Triple G. Like they take that he Triple G will take his time and, and and box you down. Jamal and Jamel, they don't they they not like that. If they smell any to any sense of blood, they going after it. They smell any type of blood and them very they very they they good. Like I said, man, people people overlook. I don't people overlook certain boxing things. I look at their feet, man. These guys got very good feet and a very good jab. And I believe that their, their, their footwork is going to take them through. I just been looking. I, I, I just been getting back in my boxing bag. And I've been looking at I've been boxing myself a lot. I've been boxing, boxing every day. I haven't start I haven't started sparring. I probably get in spawn like in two more weeks. I'm just getting myself, getting my cardio in shape, working on my combinations, got my I'm just getting in cardio shape. I probably go spar some probably go spar this gym if they got anybody up there spawn. I know one gym. I, I know two gyms I can go and get some work at. I know the owners and everything, so but I've been looking at I've been I've been getting back in my boxing bag and um I believe I believe Charlo's gonna win. I, I I've been looking at they they training they 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 feet are very quick. They got very quick feet, and and that's that quick feet and a jab can get can can win and can can get you through a fight. Because if a person can't keep up with your footwork, that means they're gonna have balance. They that 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 cause a lot of balance problems. That cause a lot of balance problems to other opponents. Quick, quick feet. And they got quick feet and a quick jab, and those two things cause a lot of balance problems. And that cause that can get you off a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of free shots. And if you, if you, if you got speed and good timing, and they got speed, good timing, and quick feet, and those things alone can get you through a twelve round, twelve round decision or a knockout easy. Quick feet because it caused a lot of it caused a lot of balance problems. They cause they they going it's gonna be a lot of balance problems. I believe the guy um Durenchenko gonna be off balance. He gonna be trying to he gonna be trying to keep his balance a lot. He gonna try to he gonna have to try to try to get out the way of that jab. That jab that double jab can cause can cause you a lot of problems because. If if you get stuck, you can get hit with that right hand easy because that double jab can freeze you and get you stuck with the right hand, and it, it can it can cause you to reset, keep cause you to keep resetting, and and, and fuck up your game plan and, and and get you caught. And so, I'm I'm not picking against the Charlos. I'm not picking against the Charlos just because of the jab and the footwork. And they they look faster, they look crisper, and their punches look shorter. And they just look a lot stronger. It look like they, they really been training. I think this coronavirus been a, like a blessing in disguise for them, cause they look they look very motivated. So I'm picking both of the Charlos. I'm just I'm just saying, Rosario, if he if he make it to the twelfth round, I I will be I'll be shocked.